Aloha. I hope you're enjoying this beautiful day and uh, our rooster in the background who decided to wake up from his uh, late morning nap. <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, we're, we're in a wonderful, sunny, beautiful Vista, California. Um, I haven't explored um, much of the area, but where I'm staying, I really like all these hills. It, it makes for um, a good cardio session, which is what we just uh, finished doing. But um, <clears throat> I'm Vincent Gonzalez. I'm continuing uh, my series on microdosing. Um, I typically microdose cannabis. Uh, I've been doing that for quite some time now. Um, <clears throat> it used to be edibles pretty much on the weekend in the um, five milligram range. And <clears throat> now uh, I'm a bit more focused on fasting. So I prefer to uh, ingest cannabis, whether it be via a bong or um, a CBD wrap or tobacco wrap upon rising and I'm also researching and looking into uh, psilocybin and that's that's been a lot more recent as well too and today uh, I did do a microdose of a particular strain called penis envy and my microdosing range is around 100 to 120 milligrams I feel that works best for me so uh, we just wrapped up this cardio session um, in Vista California I came over here um, looking for some foreclosures to uh, get more property and create um, a higher standard of veteran housing um, I'm originally from Vegas or should we say the veteran housing idea originated in Vegas and you know with veteran housing um, and going through that myself my, my focus has been to uh, assist other veterans because I know um, or I've gone through what so many uh, will have to go through and that's you know separating using the benefits, making a healthy transition. Um, so with that being said, um, <laughs> I wanna talk a bit more about microdosing uh, psilocybin and an uh, interesting discussion <laughs> that I had with my uh, TBI therapist from the VA that um, we go on phone appointments about every month that's my preference. It's, it's been a blessing having that option available to me now rather than go face to face. It allows me to maximize my real estate investing efforts. And that may be unique to me because I want to travel more. I want to visit more of the beaches of the world. Doesn't really matter what temperature, <laughs> um, what, what's the weather outside. I like being by the beach just in general. And I like areas like this too. I like being in nature. Um, and especially when I walk right outside the door, there's all these hills I'm surrounded by in the Vista, California area, or this area that I chose to um, live temporarily, you know, for a few weeks at a time. And that could possibly change this week. There's a lot of foreclosures uh, that I've seen and we wanna make some moves my team, my veteran housing team. So, um, this interesting discussion with my TBI therapist, you know, it's, uh, it was a healthy discussion. You know, she, she was uh, challenging me respectfully because, you know, she wants to know more about me so she could treat me more effectively. I feel real blessed and fortunate to have her as a therapist. You know, I feel like uh, we have some good exchanges and we both benefit you know, in our discussions. So it's not so lopsided. Uh, like that. And that's that's what I want a lot of my relationships to be is I want some type of uh, healthy exchange, not just one person is uh, taking and 
the other person feels like they just give and give and give. I like a both give and take. Um, but yeah, the microdosing, uh, what, what updates do I have to share? You know, I continue to talk to more and more people about microdosing and listen and research. And that's, that's one, okay, that's one protocol is microdosing. And it's not just <clears throat> limited to um, medicine, you know, to drug, to supplements. Uh, and exercise, you know, uh, there's, there's this term called micro ramping where on uh, certain sets you only increase a little bit or you keep going you keep going um, and maybe you do like a prolonged amount of time but it's like you're increasing little by little so for this instance or at least in my protocol you know like in weightlifting you, you keep going in little dosages but there is no increase in dosage right now on my radar for psilocybin <laughs> I, I, I'm just a real person. <laughs> I just keep it real. Uh, yeah, there's, I don't know, i am got some type of a head cold. My sinuses, um, maybe it's like the the rapid change <laughs> in uh, temperature. Some, somebody's told me that it's my allergies um, that are causing this, what's going on right now. I don't really feel sick. I just feel a little boggled down by like the mucus, <laughs> my sinuses. Um, but <laughs> um, with, the, with the TBI therapist, um, the healthy exchange we've been having regarding it. And, you know, what she has told me, she's like, you know, try to be unbiased, you know, try to, really um, judge yourself clearly on whether or not you're um, distracting yourself from some of these um, flashbacks, these negative um, thoughts about you know, reminiscing my time in the service because kind of started when uh, she asked like, you know, are you having uh, negative flashbacks? your like time in the service and you know from time to time I do and it's um, you know we, we went on I'm like you know but it's also I think because I'm an intense person so I'm I think about what's the worst case scenario what's the best case scenario and since I don't have a typical job um, what would be called a W-9 job? I think let's, let's um, describe it like that, where you have a W-9 job where it's kind of, a lot of things are delegated to your boss or that company. But when you own a company, when you own an organization, a lot of responsibilities come on your hand and it's like a lot more mental energy, I would say, rather than when I did have a W-9, when I did have, I was employed in the W-9 sense. It was um, a lot more relaxed, uh, almost lackadaisical. Like, you know, I show up, I'm done with this work. And it's some, you know, I feel like, <clears throat> at least with my evolution as a, my, my evolution uh, as a mm, individual, um, I wanted to be more in control, but I understand it takes more responsibility and more stressors now. So um, I don't know if my therapist, if she's just a W-9 employee, if she has, um, if she's an independent contractor, or if she's doing some self-employed work as well. But um, it was just interesting discussion to have. And um, Yeah, I do have some of those flashbacks or negative memories that come to my head. But what I feel, what psilocybin assists with, 
is, you know, assessing those memories, assessing those thoughts, and not allowing them to linger in an, in an unhealthy way. I don't get weighed down by it. Um, it does not consume me. You know, I can assess the thoughts and look at them, you know, as inspiration, as fuel, um, or just very emotionally detached, as Jocko Willink would say, you know, emotionally detached from those memories. You know, for example, maybe that's a negative memory that happened. I can't change that it happened. I can learn from what happened and maybe contribute to somebody else, share my experience, share my information, share my knowledge, educate myself so it doesn't happen again, you know, and then just whoop, off to the next thing. Um, so that's what I feel like psilocybin does for me. And I like to maybe um, contribute this to uh, micro micro dosing, you know, to that whole philosophy. Um, of psilocybin. Um, also in weightlifting and exercise, there's this term called audio auto regulation. And again, it's not just limited to uh, exercise, but I, what I feel like psilocybin does is it auto regulates as well. We could say auto regulation squared uh, because it does what it's supposed to do for each and every person. It will have its use for each and every person. I don't have cluster headaches, I don't have suicide headaches, but um, people who do, they have reported that psilocybin is like a cure for that. I don't experience headaches. Um, does not mean I still can't benefit from psilocybin. I get my benefits from psilocybin uh, in a different way, and I feel like psilocybin auto-regulates. Let's say auto-regulation squared. That's what it does for each person um, and whatever ailments um, or problems they're having. And with that, I feel like it can do something um, powerful like that because it's natural. You know, it's... It's made by the universe for people in the universe, we could say. It was, it's made by the earth and we are of the earth. So we sink well with psilocybin. Um, there's cases that, yeah, just like any and everything, uh, a small population does not do well with whatever that is, whatever food, um, whatever protocol or structure so they have to do something else um, to, you know to fit their needs and that's a unique population uh, there's a small population but for most people um, and I feel like a lot of military veterans like because I'm I'm still uh, pretty fresh from separation psilocybin can help if you're open if you're receptive to trying it let's come up with a, a structure for you. Everybody's gonna be different and cannabis can help as well. Let's come up with a conservative structure for you. I'm, I microdose, uh, you could say my exercise sometimes too. You know, it's, I'm the microdosing man. <laughs> little by little or, I, I, you know, I believe in consistency. You know, I believe in it's important to do uh, something every day than rather, you know, take a day off. Um, that's what I've learned with my body as well. That's how I've, um, I feel like reached another level uh, physically, you know. I, I've improved my physique physically and it was because uh, my focus became, you know, I have to do something every day. It doesn't have to be crazy, but there's, um, it's much more beneficial to be very consistent and do something every day rather than have a crazy, intense, high volume workout and just um, destroy myself for like a day or two. 
psychologically I don't benefit from that and then uh, physically it, it's um, I feel like in the long run I, I don't benefit from that because now I'm like taking I'm taking time off um, and it's not by that's not by preference it's because my body's just destroyed my, my energy's destroyed and it's much more important to, to stay frequent with something um, so that's the update that's the update now <laughs> Auto regulation square, that's something to consider. If, if you're open to psilocybin, um, it may work for you. And I feel like you'll be more um, confident and secure in taking it at much smaller doses and just start developing <clears throat> more awareness of what's going in your body. And maybe that's a totally new um, paradigm for you as you haven't done that before well what a great time to do it now you know if you're open you're willing if you feel like psilocybin could work for you um, message me and let's get you in the right direction with the right information first do, do some more research more education and let's see if not that maybe something else <laughs> If you're um, interested in donating or selling um, your beachfront property, if you have a beachfront property, if you want to put it to a good cause, if you want to um, assist with housing um, veterans who are in danger of homelessness or veterans who are in these ghetto, ran down properties uh, and do not have the the cognitive ability to fight for themselves anymore. They fought for our country. Uh, they fought for our lives, but their their um, their mental resources they're depleted. You know, we all made mistakes, whether that be through drug abuse or other things that um, that they had to go through during uh, their time in the service that they underwent and are not able to recover properly. And on top of that, have a horrible living environment during. If you want to help with that, you need to contact me. Especially if you have a beachfront property and you're willing to rent that out or do some type of ownership transfer. Um, let's talk. Let's start creating uh, the world a better place. And you know how that happens? Is making better people. And a core uh, component of um, making somebody better is making sure they're in the right environment with the right resources to get better. Uh, I'm in Vista, California. Um, right now, I'm gonna be in this area for maybe a week or two. Um, I could be in it longer if if an opportunity presents itself that uh, requires more attention more diligence, you know, to secure a property in this area and get some of these veterans maybe out of where they're at right now. Like maybe they, I, I would lean towards this as they need to get out of that geographical location they're in now because there's too many toxic people, you know, that they form toxic relationships with and whatever. The, the, it's hard to get off some drugs. I understand that. And uh, one of the best ways is to get them out of that environment with different, um, with different people, different resources, and, you know, and get them on the right track, start a new healthy chapter in their life. Any other questions or concerns or ideas, feel free to message me. Please like this. Please subscribe to this. And... I hope you enjoy this beautiful day.